Seven Minutes is on again. Welcome back with us on our Facebook page here. We bring every Tuesday and Friday, 1230, seven minutes of music, message, and prayer. And today again is guest speaker day. After the first song, we will get to know him and he will bring a message for us and a prayer as well. First song, let me just retrieve my lyrics here. It's a couple of verses from our LSB number 700 something. I'll retrieve it later. It's my faith looks up to thee. If I'm not wrong, 702. My faith looks up to thee, thou lamb of Calvary, Savior divine. Now hear me while I pray, take all my guilt away, oh let me from this day be holy thine. May thy rich grace impart strength to my fainting heart, my zeal inspire, as thou hast died for me, only my love to thee. Form and change us be a living fire. Perfect. As I said at the beginning, right off the bat, uh, today is guest speaker uh, day again. We have a guest speaker, and I will introduce you him to you right now. Pastor Terdali Falls from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Welcome to Seven Minutes. It's good to have you with us today. Hello, guys. It's very glad to be here with you. It's always good to see you, Pastor Lucas. Thank you for this yeah. invitation. What an honor. Uh, what pastors do on Fridays, this is Friday, right? Uh, they prepare for Sunday. They're working on their preaching. So I'm going to give you guys a glimpse, a little taste of what I'm cooking for Sunday. And I'm going to be talking about happiness, the searching for happiness. And my text is the psalm of the day, psalm number one. You know, blessed is the man who does not walk in the council or stand in the ways of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. He's like a tree planted by streams of water and gives its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. There are three aspects I like to draw out from this text that address the issue of happiness and why people are happy or not happy. And number one, we see that happiness is possible. That's how the psalm one starts, blessed is the man, blessed is someone who so and so. The word blessed means fulfilled, means satisfied. The first thing we see from this text is that being blessed is possible. Happiness is possible. And that's a radical statement if you think about it. A lot of people don't think that happiness is possible. They've seen what life looks like. They've gone through stuff. They understand Macbeth. Remember Shakespeare? Let me read that famous quote. Life is but a walking shadow, a poor player that shoots and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It's a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fear signifying nothing. A lot of people think like Macbeth. Happiness is not possible. But Psalm 1 says that there is a happiness that is possible. And my second point is that real happiness is not superficial. Real happiness, the happiness that the Bible talks about, the happiness that is offered by God, 
is something like profound. It's not superficial. Verse 3 tells us that a happy man is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruits in season and whose leaf does not wither. Look at that. Trees are subject to seasons. It's not always fruitful. Trees are not always blossoming. Trees experience afflictions and they are affected by it. It does not always bear fruit. And then you have this tree that is affected by the seasons, but at the same time has its roots connected to a river, to this constant source of water. And because of that, this tree, its leaf does not, never withers. What's the point? Happiness is not always being smiling and laughing. It's not a matter of being successful or full of fruits all the time. Happiness does not depend on the circumstances of the different seasons that we go through life. It's not superficial. It has to do with our roots, according to Psalm 1. It's under there. It has to do with whom you are connected with and who uh, we have its root. We are rooted in. And we can think about our Christian identity. We can think about the love of Jesus. We can even talk about and think about the river of baptism flowing in our lives. Happiness is not based on our environment, but in being rooted in Christ and have his gifts flowing into our lives. And my third point that I draw out from the Psalm 1 Happiness is something we choose. It's not something that just happens to you. It has to do with our choices, with who we choose to hang out with. It has to do with our friends, with our allegiances. It talks about listening to the counsel of the ungodly. And it talks about walking in the way of sinners. Then it talks about sitting in the seat of the wrong people. People who mess with our faith in life. Don't choose them, says Psalm number one. We don't find happiness in them. In the other hand, the happy person delights in the laws of the Lord. And we know that he's not talking about the rules, the commands of God, but also the most important, he's talking about delighting in the love of the Lord and his grace and mercy. Mercy and forgiveness. Happiness is something that doesn't happen to us. We got to find out who we belong to, who we, we are going to hang out with. Happiness is living our lives around the right people, our brothers and sisters in Christ, and around the word of God in the gospel. Listening to it, singing into yourself, sharing are we doing that? We can. We should. We can be happy, guys. It's possible. Don't look at the circumstances. Don't choose to find it in the wrong options. But continue to be connected to Jesus and his word, enjoying day and night. Searching for happiness. Let's pray. Our Father... We pray now that as we search for happiness in our lives, you will show us how we can turn away from the way of the world, from the counsel of the ungodly, from the seat of the mockers, and the light in the law of the Lord, so that we can meditate day and night and be like the tree planted by waters. Keep our Heavenly Father, our leaves green in your Son, Jesus Christ. In his name we pray. Amen.
stand in the way of the sand There's not sense in the sit's house copper But his delight is in the love of the Lord And on his law he meditates day and night Lord knows the way of the righteous Blessed is it man streams of water and yields its fruit in the season and its heat does not wither in all that he does he prospers the wicked are not so but are like chaff that the wind drives away Lord knows the way of the righteous There it is, Psalm 1. Pastor Tardelli and I have uh, chosen the same topic for music and message without even combining before. I just invited him to, to uh, bring the message today and all came together. Pastor Tardelli, it's good to have you with us from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's great to have your company with us for seven minutes today. My goodness, what a blessing. And it's amazing. We didn't combine in how this came through. Beautiful song, Pastor Lucas. Congratulations. You know I am your fan uh, in everything you do, especially in your songs. Congratulations. Beautiful yeah, song. Uh, thank you. It's a mutual admiration for sure. I usually ask our guests to speak a little bit more about family and ministry, and we take a little bit more than seven minutes usually because we want to... Um, take advantage of the fact that we have a guest with us. So would you share a little bit about your your family and your ministry so far? Sure, absolutely. Um, I am married to Gianni. We are married for 16 years. I've been a pastor for 17 years, and we have three children. Um, Nina, seven years old, Benjamin, six, and Sarah, two. Uh, I was a pastor my first congregation was in Northwest Arkansas, United States, and then now in Rio de Janeiro for seven years and a half. That's pretty much a little bit of my family and where I have been serving the Lord. That's great. And you had another international experience in your vicarage year, right, in Uruguay? Yes, that was my first international experience. Dear to my heart, Uruguay, that was my vicar place, vicarage place, Montevideo. That's great. Well, thanks for joining us today, straight from Rio de Janeiro, Copacabana, beautiful place. I've been there before, so it's a very nice place to be. And Come, uh, I us again. To see you. yes, as soon as possible, as soon as uh, this crazy times kind of phase out and we can go back to some normalcy, we hope we can go to Brazil and visit you guys there too. Send greetings to Diani and to your kids, and thanks again for being with us today. Absolutely. Grace and peace to you, Pastor Lucas, your family, and the good people at Mount Olive. Thank you so much, and thank you. On the other side of the screen, you are with us here uh, following our seven minutes every Tuesday and Friday, 1230. We are here, and we are always glad when you can join us either live or later on on your day or your weekend on your week. God's blessings to you, and I'll see you next time.